Typeform Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Typeform. Typeform is a versatile platform for creating engaging and interactive forms and surveys. In this tutorial, we'll cover everything from creating workspaces to designing type forms and customizing them to suit your specific needs. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Typeform, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, look for either the Sign Up button or the Get Started It's Free button and click on it. This will redirect you to the registration page. On the registration page, you will find several options to sign up for a new Typeform account. You can choose to sign up using your Google account, Microsoft account, or simply by providing your email address. Select the option that suits your preferences and click on it to proceed with the registration process. Once you have successfully signed up for your account, you will be directed to a page where you need to set up your account. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the setup process, which may include entering some personal information and configuring your account settings. After setting up your Typeform account, you will be taken to your account dashboard. This is the central hub where you can create, manage, and analyze your forms and surveys. Once you access your Typeform account dashboard, you will notice that the design is minimalistic and user-friendly. On the left-hand side of the dashboard, you'll find the left menu, which contains several important sections. At the top of the left menu, you will see the name of your organization. By clicking on it, you can switch between different settings within your organization. This includes options like admin settings, org members, plan and billing, and developer apps. These settings allow you to manage various aspects of your Typeform account and tailor it to your specific needs. The private section in the left menu displays all the workspaces you have created. Workspaces are where you can organize and store forms and surveys. If you want to create a new workspace, you can simply click on the plus icon next to the section name and follow the prompts. The Apps and Integration section provides you with the access to the App Marketplace. This marketplace allows you to connect Typeform with other applications and services, enabling you to integrate your forms and surveys with your existing workflow and systems. Additionally, there is a Brand Kit section in the left menu. This feature is available for premium plans and allows you to create and manage a brand kit. A brand kit helps maintain a consistent visual identity for your forms by customizing colors, fonts, and logos. In addition to the left menu, at the top right corner of the dashboard, you can view the details of the plan that Typeform offers. This provides information about the features and limitations associated with your subscription. Furthermore, the account section also located at the top right corner allows you to manage your account settings. Here you can also access resources such as help documentation and support. The dashboard provides a central hub for managing and organizing your Typeform account, allowing you to create, customize, and analyze your forms and surveys efficiently. Take some time to familiarize yourself with the different sections and options available to make the most out of your Typeform experience. Now, let's see how to create a workspace in Typeform. To create a workspace in Typeform, start by accessing your Typeform account dashboard. On the left menu, locate the section labeled Private. Next to this section, you will find a plus button. Click on the button to initiate the process of creating a new workspace. After clicking the plus button, a pop-up window will appear on your screen. In this window, you will be prompted to enter a name for your workspace. Think of a descriptive and relevant name that will help you identify the purpose or theme of this workspace. Once you have entered the desired name, click on the Create Workspace button. Upon clicking the Create Workspace button, Typeform will generate your new workspace based on the provided name. You will be automatically redirected to this newly created workspace where you can begin building your Typeforms. Within the workspace, you will have the ability to create and visualize your Typeforms according to your specific needs. Typeform offers a range of features and options for creating engaging and interactive forms and surveys. Next, let's see how to create a new Typeform. To create a new Typeform, begin by accessing your Typeform account dashboard and selecting the workspace in which you want to create the Typeform. In the left menu, navigate to the desired workspace and click on it to enter. Once inside the workspace, you will find a plus create Typeform button either at the top left side or at the center of the workspace. Click on this button to initiate the process of creating a new Typeform. Upon clicking the plus create Typeform button, a new window will appear presenting you with three options. Start from scratch, use a template, and create with AI. 
If you choose to start from scratch, you can begin building your type form from scratch, customizing it according to your specific requirements and design preferences. If you opt to use a template, click on this option to access the template gallery. The template gallery contains a collection of pre-built type forms that you can choose from and customize to suit your needs. The templates are categorized to help you find the most relevant options for your type form. Each template is fully customizable, allowing you to modify questions, add or remove elements, and tailor the design to your liking. Alternatively, if you already have a form created outside of Typeform and want to import it, you can click on the Import Form button within the template gallery. This option allows you to import a form and continue working on it within Typeform's platform. For this tutorial, we will proceed by using a template in Typeform. There are numerous templates available to choose from, each designed for specific purposes. In this case, we will select the Booking Form template as our starting point. To preview the template, hover over it and a preview button will appear. You can click on the preview button to get a glimpse of how the template looks. However, to proceed with using the template, simply click on it. Upon clicking the template, you will be redirected to the editor interface. The editor consists of three main sections, the left panel, the right panel, and the main canvas. In the left panel, you can view the pages of your type form. If your selected template has multiple pages, you can switch between them to customize each page individually. Additionally, you have the option to add new content to your type form. To do this, click on the plus sign next to content at the top of the left menu. This allows you to add various elements such as short text fields, multiple choice questions, statements, and more to enhance your type form. The right panel provides options to customize the specific page you have selected in the left panel. For example, if you choose the first page of the template in the left panel, the right panel will open the customization options for that page. Here you can modify the questions, design elements, and logic of the page to tailor it to your requirements. The main canvas is the central area where your selected template resides. It is where you can visually see and interact with the template and make further customizations. The main canvas is where you will spend most of your time editing and refining your type form. Once you have selected a template in Typeform, you can proceed to customize it according to your preferences and needs. The template primarily consists of three types of content, text, buttons, and images. All of these elements can be customized using the options provided in the right panel, which opens for each page of the template. To customize the text within the template, simply select the text you wish to modify and replace it with your own text. Additionally, you can apply formatting options such as making the text bold, italic, or including a link. By selecting the text, you will see these formatting options appear, allowing you to make the desired changes. Similarly, you can customize the buttons within the template. Move to the right panel and click on the Question section. Within this section, you can change the text of the button by editing the content within the button field. Adjust it to reflect the desired wording or action for the button. To change an image within the form, click on the image you want to modify. Upon clicking, you will see three options, Change, Edit, and Remove. Select the Change option and a window will appear, providing you with various options to update the image. You can upload an image from your computer, choose an image from Unsplash, select a video from platforms like YouTube or Vimeo, or even add an icon to the image. Furthermore, you have the flexibility to change the layout of the page if desired. Navigate to the right panel, locate the question section, and within it, find the layout option. Once you find it, you can change the layout to suit your preferences, whether it's a single column layout, a multi-column layout, or any other available option. The customization method demonstrated above is applicable to all pages of the template. You can customize any page within the template as needed. Once you have customized the template and are satisfied with the changes, you can proceed to publish it by clicking on the Publish button located in the top right corner of the editor interface. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Typeform. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.